Hey everybody, Zeal Brothers here once again with another video. This one is about a church in Texas that hosted an event where the crowd erupted with Let's Go Brandon chats. And people are going crazy about this. And when you look at this event, um, people are going crazy because this church allowed a political message to go out. And we need to talk about that because the question about whether churches should be political is a good question. And in reality, a lot of people are calling on churches to be neutral, except when it benefits them. So when you look in Virginia and you had a lot of churches hosting Kamala Harris, nobody was mad about that. And when you look in this situation, because they're saying, let's go, Brandon, which is another way of saying the F word, uh, Biden, Biden, Joe Biden, um, people are having a problem with that. And it's not because the church is political, but rather because they don't like the message. So you have to interpret the disingenuousness of people who are criticizing this event. But the larger point, should churches get political? And the answer to that question should be no. Churches should not be political, but what they should be is moral. And here's the thing. I am long since tired of Christian leaders who are so afraid of political issues that they try to be neutral about everything. And so what will happen is somebody will do something terrible and they will criticize it, but then they'll try to make up something else on the other side to criticize that to be balanced. That's not the message that God wants for us. And so when we have somebody in our church shouting, let's go, Brandon. That's really nothing to get too bothered about, because first of all, it's not vulgar. It's the non vulgar version of a vulgar chant. It's people who are putting their political ideas out there. It's really not an issue. But what we should be doing as churches is we should be speaking to the spiritual reality of the political situation. And here's what I mean. When people say defund the police, they need to know that that is an unchristian idea. Yes, that is a sinful idea to, to espouse. And when you go out there and you are going against the authority that God has given our government, the natural authority that God has given governments to, up, to uphold order, and to punish evildoers, and yes, even to kill evildoers, you yourself are acting against God. When you support public unions who strike against their employers, which is largely illegal, you are doing something that is unchristian. What did John say? John the Baptist say to the Roman soldiers, he said, be content with your wages and stop threatening. And so what we have is, as Christians, is we really do have issues that are in the public sphere that the church should speak to. But the church is afraid to speak to those because it's going to make some people mad. Well, guess what? Make some people mad. Because at the end of the day, it's the truth of the gospel that should be going out. Not where We should not be coddling people's feelings. Here's another issue. We got a lot of people walking around with inappropriate clothes on. I call them foreplay clothes. That should be something that Christian leaders should speak out against. And so we got a lot of celebrities wearing crazy stuff. And what we need to say is that is not the way that godly women should behave themselves. They should not dress in that way. Peter speaks about this explicitly. And he says godly women should not be adoring themselves in ways like that. What they should be doing is dressing themselves in good words, chastely. With a matter of self-control. In other words, you are not objectifying yourself. And what we have too often on social media, and when you go on Facebook, I even see my own cousins doing this. You got a booty pick on, and then you want to call yourself a Christian in the next post. You want to post a verse, an inspirational verse, but then turn around and take a picture of us showing you, you us your butt. That is contradictory. And what it does is it shows that you are a hypocrite because on one hand, you want to play the Bible, but then you don't want to live the Bible. You want to read the Bible, but you don't want to dress the Bible. And that is something that we need to speak to. So when we talk about what the church should be saying, the church should be speaking about out about public issues like this. The church should be speaking out against the the tyrannical government in China that is killing its citizens. That is immoral. The churches speak to these issues. So, yes, the church has a way to speak to the public sphere, but it needs to speak on moral issues, just as John the Baptist spoke about Herod the Great. He didn't speak to him about policy issues. He didn't speak to him about alliances he should choose. He didn't speak to him about which war he should do. He spoke to him and said, you ought not have your brother's wife. And that should be clear. 
And so church leaders should be speaking out against these things. And if we have another Bill Clinton out there, we should speak out against that because that is something that is sinful and clear. So we need to be speaking clearly on transgender issues, homosexual issues, all of those issues of gender confusion. The Bible is not confused. So we need to speak on those issues with clarity. And if we do that, we will reclaim our mantle as the prophets that we should be speaking to the issues that our people actually face. A lot of people, they hide behind this high minded theological mantle and they are afraid to address the issues of the day. When in actuality, the Bible is always addressing the issues of their day and our day. So let's be real with the gospel and let's get out there and speak without being afraid of how people will react.